Hi. So uh, that's us ready to go back out again. And uh, where are we going? Lands and Germany. Yeah. Uh, so uh, very excited. Uh, we have been a few weeks in the planning, and uh, we've got everything sorted out. We've got our crit air. Yeah, yeah. We've got the German crit air. Can't remember what that's called. Something in German. And uh, they're about four euros, so well worth it. Uh, what else have we got? Passports. Passports. Germs. Germs. Health cards. Yeah. Ferry booking. No. No. Channel tunnel. Channel tucking. The channel tunnel booking. No, it's no ferry. Um, keep saying ferry. Uh, fans. Your phones. Yeah. iPads. Yeah. Everything. Got everything. Already. We should have everything. Um, routes all planned. We're going to have uh, six nights, I think. Campsites and the rest. Uh, Ears or stale plats or uh, with family. Um, I think something like that. Six and eight or eight and six, something like that. Uh, and um, yeah, we've got everything foods all done. Uh, what, what we need now? Kids. Kids. Waiting for the kids coming, so we're going to pick them up. It's about lunchtime on Wednesday. Uh, we're traveling down to the Channel Tunnel today. Uh, Train is 5.20, but we're hoping to turn up early and get on early. So we'll see how that goes. Long journey ahead. Long journey, 502 like, miles. Me and the girls can sleep. <laughs> well, I could sleep as well, but uh, <laughs> might, might be an issue. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to see anything else. So we're ready to go, just waiting for the kids finishing school. Going to pick them up and then... Um, we'll see you on the road. Um, well, we'll probably we we'll probably won't do that. We'll probably see you at the tunnel. We'll see how that goes. Uh, that'll be about midnight, I would think, isn't it? something like that. Hopefully earlier. Hopefully earlier. See, see how the traffic is. See how the traffic is, and uh, yeah. So we will see you uh, at the tunnel. Yeah. See you then. Bye. Hey, so we're here. Well, that was a journey and a half. Let's show you where we are. At the terminal. Uh, so the train was meant to be 5.25, but they've put us on to the 4.25. It's now 1 o'clock. So it's going to be, uh, we're hoping to get along a lot earlier, but that's not going to happen. Uh, we're going to try for the 2.25 and go on a standby. Uh, we'll let you know if that happens. Uh, they wanted to put us definitely on the 225 and it was going to upgrade us, uh, it was going to cost us £86. Pound. I went, uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, so I'll let you know uh, how we go on when we're on train. Yep, so that's us, they let us on the train and we're now uh, probably just about France I would think in the 225 and they didn't charge us the £86 pound that they were going to. So uh, we're uh, three hours early, something like that. Yeah, yeah we're about three hours early. Uh, so we're going to go and get an air just near to uh, Cali, I think it is, I can't remember. And uh, we're going to spend the night there, we're going to get some sleep, uh, and then we'll get some breakfast and we'll head off. So we'll see you in the morning. Say bye. 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 Hi. Well. Tell you what, I feel a lot better this morning than I did yesterday uh, morning. Uh, well, yeah, after a good night's sleep, and I've got a coffee. And um, yeah, so we spent the last night here. We're in Antwerp, and this uh, place here, let me see that. It's the uh, Dog Agility School car park. Uh, and uh, there's, there's three vans here. As, and there's a wee um, rapido next door and there's uh, uh, I don't know what that is but uh, yeah um, yeah so yesterday is a day we probably were trying to forget with the breakdowns and the uh, uh, what happens uh, when you get into Antwerp the sat nav brought us into Antwerp to divert run about something like 20 30 mile um, accident uh, it was just a, a nightmare, and when we got into Anza, we, we couldn't get back out again. Couldn't get back onto the road. Um, so we, we tried and tried and tried, and then we eventually just uh, gave up. 
and uh, we just went to uh, get some to eat uh, and got the kids some to eat and then uh, uh, we found this place and just crashed it last night uh, I think it went for about half a year or something but anyway so today is a driving day we're going to drive to um, Berlin it's uh, oh, East Berlin it's 505 miles or something so it's, it's quite a day so we're just getting ready getting breakfast and uh, it's about just back at seven so we're going to head off uh, just shortly and uh, when the kids get up get them some tea and then we're going to head off and uh, we'll see you along the route hi so welcome back we are here now uh, in uh, just East Berlin arrived uh, last night and uh, we left Antwerp yesterday morning it was 505 miles it was a, a nightmare breakdown uh, roadworks and we were held up because of that a couple of times and we were held up because it was an accident and uh, it was just uh, terrible the weather wasn't that great and uh, yeah so we arrived here last night had a couple of beers and we've got this weekend off we're not going to move this is saturday so we're not going to move we're just going to stay here and uh kids are going to get their nails done and uh we're just chilling really get it for dinner tonight uh chill out sunday and then monday i think we're going to <sighs> near cold it's i think uh leipzig and in that area so um yeah so we're over we're just spending a couple of days with family and uh, we will uh, we'll let you know later if anything exciting happens but I don't imagine we'll be speaking to you for the next, uh, maybe to Monday, okay? So this is the swing park, just here and over there that's the toilet shower block and the pool and we are up there and look at the size of our space it is humongous hi and it's another beautiful morning here in uh, sunny germany we are uh, near black forest i think and it's uh, near cold we're about a mile from cold it's castle so we're going to go there this morning, or I'm going to go there because nobody else seems that interested. Uh, so I'm going to go there and look at that. They're going to go swimming. And uh, yeah, but you find me a bit raging because, uh, I mean, it's a beautiful morning, but this space here costs us 39 euros. And uh, there's a couple arrived there last night just behind that hedge. Uh, and there'll be um, Volkswagen T5, probably. Uh, but they paid uh, 14 because they're Axie members. And uh, we thought, or I thought, because it was high season, that they actually wouldn't be worth it. And, uh, well, possibly would have been. So I'm a bit raging about that. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do. Uh, is it worth getting an Axie card now? Uh, we would never get it delivered, obviously. But I would uh, wonder if I could use the code. If I could show them the... If I could if they'd send you a code or... A, membership number or something um, I don't know I'm going to look into that and see if it's worth it um, yeah that's a bit maddening isn't it yeah yeah but anyway so uh, I'm going to buy some breakfast just now get everybody up and then uh, we will um, I'll probably see you at Colditz Hi, so we made it, made it to Colditz, and uh, yeah, it's, it's maybe not what I expected. It's, uh, it's a nice, very interesting exhibition. Uh, if you've ever seen the, the films or the TV show, it's uh, yeah, it's good to come and see it firsthand to see uh, just how difficult it would be to escape a place like this. It's uh, amazing, but uh, it's, you know, it looks apart. 
as you can see and this is uh, one of the guys who tried to escape as um, yeah this is a woman yeah good luck uh, there was some daring escapes you know uh, some guys just just walked out the gate and jumped the fence uh, hid in a bed mattress tried to get it that way yeah so yeah, amazing stuff interesting stuff and uh, lovely here so I've only got the uh, guided tour but I don't have time so I am just going to go and uh, see the team the team are all away um, swimming again so I will uh, yeah I'll maybe give you a few more shots of this place and then I'll, I'll head back there see you soon Yeah, meant to say to you, uh, it's completely free. Uh, there's, there's no charge for being in here, uh, unless you want to take a guided tour. So you can just come in and wander about to your heart's content. Okay. Yeah, so that's us settled for the night. We're here at Munchburg in a still platz. And uh, yeah, we're going to spend the night here. It's 10 euros. Includes electric and water and waste. And uh, there's a pool next door. So I think if the weather's permitting in the morning, we're going to check the pool out. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and we'll see. Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's pretty decent. We drove down from cold. It's took about. Uh, two and a half hours, something like that. Uh, uh, mostly motorway. And uh, yeah, roads were fine. Uh, we will... Uh, what's the plan for the night? Games? Boggle? Once the sun goes away. What are we doing? Boggle? Once Scabby Queen? Away. What else? That was. And uh, maybe switch, we'll see. And uh, we'll check in in the morning and let you know what's happening. Say bye. Bye. Hi. Good morning. And well, good sleep we had. And uh, well, I'm having this coffee. It's about um, half five, something like that. Yeah, I mean, it's silly o'clock. And um, I don't know, maybe I can't sleep on holiday. But here we are, uh, Munchberg. A uh, lovely wee place. I uh, had a wee walk about the town last night. Went for pizza. Nice. And uh, this morning, I think the plan is uh, we're just going to get up, get some breakfast, and uh, just mess about for a wee while. The pool opens probably about 10, so uh, weather permitting. The weather's looking okay just now. Uh, weather permitting, I think we're going to go and do that. And then we're going to head down to Wurzburg, I think, uh, this afternoon. And we will see uh, what's uh, what's occurring. 
Uh, yeah, what can you say about this place? Great. 10 euros. Electric. Uh, water. Waste. Um, yeah, there's about 8. I think it's 8 spaces here. Uh, uh, you can't book. You just turn up. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty decent. Okay. Um, Alright, don't know what to tell you any more. Uh, they seem to be setting up for some sort of um, fun fair event, festival or something, I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, I'll we'll talk to you later. So, guess where we are? The things you find on your travels. We're at the Topples Verdet Welt. Basically, upside down house. So, if you put this up the other way, which I might do, uh, I'm going to be upside down. Okay, uh, it's, uh, it's a good wee family fun hour, uh, breaking the travel. Uh, it's about uh, family tickets. I think it worked out about 24 euros or something. So, uh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, uh, good fun, good uh, photo moments. Okay. See you soon. Hey, so what I did that was. We're now at Estelle Platz, uh, it's called Loken Am um, Necker. I think that's right, hang on a second, I'll tell you. Let me just double check. Loken Am um, Necker, yeah, we're at Estelle Platz here. Uh, as you can see, we're parked up there. You can see that, yeah, there we are. Uh, yeah. There you go. Quite a big place. Uh, I don't know how many bands you can get here, eight or something. Uh, but the um, place is entirely empty. Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, it's good. Uh, there's a pool just the other side of that fence there. There's quite a decent pool, so we're going to check that out tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll hang about here. There's a, a canal or a river down here, which looks quite nice. Give you a look at that later, maybe. And um, yeah, we're just going to chill out here tonight. A uh, few games as usual, and uh, yeah, we've pretty decent day. Uh, yeah, Würzburg was good, and uh, the upside down house. Yeah, that was a, a surprise encounter. So that was that was pretty decent. Uh, it is 7:50 uh, night here, and the electricity. Sorry, excuse me. The electricity is 50 cents per kilowatt hour. But we used the trick, you know the trick where you press the buttons to see if somebody's left some money on it uh, and we found one with 69 cents and another one with 25 so we're about halfway through the 69 cents one so you never know, might not cost us anything for electric uh, water's uh, 10 cents per 10 litres, is it? 100 litres is a euro yeah, figure that out and uh, you can empty your waste here for free uh, and wash out your tank, so that's quite handy um, yeah, all in all, it's quite good. Uh, we have tried, you know, what we've discovered in Germany is they don't like cards. They want cash everywhere, and we don't have enough cash here. So uh, what we've done is, well, we tried to use our card in the machine, and it wouldn't allow it. wouldn't let us use it, so it keeps seeing the cards broken, but it's not broken, it's the machine. It wants you to use cash. So uh, we can't do it. So we're just going to talk nice to whoever turns up uh, and say, look, you know, well, 
we need to get some cash. We can get some cash in the pool, but we can't get some cash in the pool now because the pool's not open. So uh, we'll just need to talk nice to the guy or the lady when they arrive and see how we're going. Um, we will keep you informed, see if we get a free night or not, um, but we'll let you know what's happening tomorrow. I think tomorrow we're definitely going to go to the pool, it opens at half past eight, and uh, weather forecast is mid to late 20s, so not too bad. Right, talk to you later. Hi, good morning, and I think it's Thursday, I think. Uh, yeah, what a great sleep we had here. And uh, we're just getting ready just now. We're just going to go to the pool. Just up there. I will... Uh, I've done a wee bit of drawing. I'll let you see that. Uh, before or after I'm saying this, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, we uh, we managed to get the... Uh, had to go to the village and get some cash. And got the uh, 750. Sorted it. And the uh, machine. So that was cool. Got a ticket for that. So that's fine. Yeah, but what a bargain. Um, I think we've put 50 cents in electricity because we used some of the money that was that was in the machine. Uh, so yeah, did I tell you that? Yeah, when you arrive, press the buttons to see how much money is in the machine. Plug into the one that's got money on it. Yeah, it's a uh, yeah, could be trick that. Uh, yeah, somebody on YouTube showed me that. Yeah, so today uh, we're going to go to the pool and then later on we're going to drive to a place called Sasback Walden. Or down that area anyway, further south. Uh, it's supposed to be quite a nice village. Uh, part of the Romantic Road, maybe, I think. Um, yeah, so we're going to have a look at that. And we will see you uh, later on. Hi, so we've had a pretty decent day here. The weather's been fantastic. Uh, 14, no, 13 euros to get in here for the five years. Just brilliant. It must have been recently built. It looks absolutely brand new. Oh, a lot of uh, stainless steel and chrome and yeah, just lovely. Uh, so yeah, we've just chilled a bit for the past hour or so. Uh, a wee bit of snooze and uh, yeah, there's the sun back out again. The sun goes behind a cloud for a couple of minutes. Quite uh, relaxing, getting away from the sun. But uh, yeah, hard life. Uh, I was going to tell you. Uh, if you are coming to this area, or Germany in general, bring some coins with you. I think uh, we've discovered that you need about probably 20 euros in coins. Uh, definitely if you're going to be using um, uh, steel plates and such, uh, and you need them for, you need at least, uh, you need, they, they won't take anything lower than a 50 cent, so don't bother with any of that, don't just smash. And uh, a lot of the, when the campsite we were at, when you, when you take card, Nope, and we, and in the UK we're kind of used to everything's card, but here it's kind of the opposite, that everything's cash, uh, and occasionally I mean garages and things like that for petrol, they'll take card, but in the, the supermarket will take card, but smaller shops and such, it's all cash, everything's cash. And uh, in here, swimming pool, cash, yeah, uh, steel plates um, for the electric, yeah. 50 cents upwards uh, coins and the, uh, the machine to pay for the, for the, the night stop was uh, cash but coins, no money, no, no paper money, it's got to be coins uh, so I just thought I'd bring that up if you are thinking about coming here uh, you really should but bring yourself some cash, coins and um, paper money for when you're, if you're going to pay for the campsite alright, back to my sleep now <sighs> Strasser. Yeah, so this is where we spent last night. Let me just show you where we are. Yeah, so, for the mobile like I'm Heidendorf, Heiden, Heidenhof. Okay, we're next to a wee village called Kappelrodek, which is just lovely. Nice wee place. 
and you have got this park here quite tricky to find uh, because of the building work going on here and uh, yeah the road isn't too clear and the sat nav wanted to go a different way but I spotted the sign here so we ended up taking the right road and uh, we're here and then uh, we've got the one two three four five six vans here tonight today uh, it's ten pound night uh, it says there's water but I can't find it uh, and I don't see any waste emptying either uh, so yeah but a pretty quiet night's sleep and uh, we're just going to get everybody up and then we'll be heading off shortly okay found it so this is the waste disposal and the water tank and it looks like it's one euro for 100 litres there you go and you can empty your waste as well so there you go the whole